Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to invoke or call a REST API from Visual Builder application. REST API could be an external REST API or it could be a OIC integration REST API. What we want to consume within our Visual Builder application. For this use case, I am considering REST countries REST API which is available freely. I will provide the link in the description where you can find the documentation for those REST APIs for REST countries. I will copy this REST API endpoint that is to get all the country details from here. Next, we have to go to services over here. Click on plus services connections. Here in the option, we have to select define by endpoint. From here, we have to select get as this is a get REST endpoint. Copy and paste the REST API endpoint over here. If you are trying to call OIC integration REST API, then you have to select the method from here by which you have exposed your integration. As this endpoint is exposed over HTTP method get, I am selecting here get. As this get operation is returning details for multiple or more than one countries, I am selecting get many. If your endpoint is returning only one information for a particular object, then you have to select get one. Giving this get many and clicking on next. Here I am naming this as get rest countries all same thing i will copy in the title here i will provide this as version 3 in the server tab this rest endpoint is not accepting or not secured so the authentication i am providing as none in your case if you have created a secured rest endpoint like in the case of oic integration then you have to select this basic fixed username and password and you can provide the username password details over here and if you are trying to call oracle cloud functions then you there is this option for oci api signature one that we can make use of for this endpoint i am selecting this as none and clicking on operation here the endpoint it says get all i am keeping it default if you want you can change this as well in the request i don't have anything to provide like a query parameter template parameter or the header any custom header if any you can add it over here i will directly go to test and click on this send request i am getting this 200 ok status we have to click on this save as example response once we get the response from the endpoint you will get a message by a pop up on the right right bottom corner that a schema has been created once done click on this create button done now we will go to our web application i will create a separate page in order to consume the service connection details rest api click on create also in the main i am selecting default page as rest api i will minimize this web application now from the components i will drag and drop this table collection component in order to populate the data for this table we can go for this add data from here and select the service endpoints which we configured just now but i won't go with this approach i will create the sdp manually i will go to variables click on plus variable here i will name as sdp get all countries here the type i'm selecting as service data provider click on create and we need to create an endpoint for this click on the select endpoint expand the services expand get to countries all select all click on next i will name this as get all countries type for time being i will select everything in the response and click on finish our sdp has been created and our type is also created if we expand we will get the details now i will switch over to page designer click on this table go to data in the data i will select this sdp that is sdp get all countries which we created just now now i will add the table columns as we had manually provided this sdp over here in the data we are unable to view this uh, field column names over here because our uh, response from the api is having the complex structure like the object within the object and the array so if you are going with the quick start method and adding the data you won't see this issue like what we are seeing over here 
so in this case we have to manually add the details so the table column for this i'm providing as flag now we have to provide the value for this and if you click on this edit symbol over here here we can populate the details under flag i will i will give the flag image value over here flags dot png yeah. as you could see our details will reflect over here now i don't want the text to be displayed over here instead i want the image for this i will drop the avatar drag this avatar component and drop it over here now this avatar will make this as flag and the value for that avatar will provide it over here that is nothing but flags dot png let me go back now if you observe this avatar is not reflecting the flag icons instead it is showing the blank image over here in order to fix this let me select this avatar go to this source of this image click on this fx here we have to select the row current row dot let me check the path flags dot png let me type here dot png click on save now if you go to design it will reflect the flags over here now this is done now let me go back to the table since we have already the flag icon over here i will rename the second column to country here instead of flags i will name this to names dot current let me verify what it is it is name dot official name dot official let me save yeah we have two columns i will add one more column that is if the user wants to know more details for this country then he or she can click on the hyperlink and get more details this part we won't cover in this video in our next video we'll learn how to build the parent child kind of relationship or the parent child pages in visual builder application as of now i will just drop this hyperlink select and It is not allowing me to drop it directly over here let me go to the code over here and i will drag and drop it over here this has inserted with this edge uh, i don't want that let me delete this hyperlink from here instead what i will do is i will manually create a field from here it is i will copy and paste this i will name it as more details and in field i don't want anything go to design select this hyperlink and drop it over here now if you could see under more details we are having a hyperlink let me rename this to click here now let's preview this application yeah we could see the details populated in our table which we get from rest api that is rest countries api in our next video we will learn when a user clicks on this click here hyperlink we will get a dialog and in the dialog we will get the details for the country like the population area capital currency and other details please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video